too much power in Abuja. At the state and local governments, you must insist that powers must, people must fight for power. That's what we're calling democratization. And you cannot have political restructure without economic restructure. And that's more important. And let me tell you this. Every five said last week, we're not going to restructure. What do us who are talking of restructuring are opportunists? But this guy, like he did in Amoya, is demolishing the houses of the poor. That is not restructuring. They are restructuring our cities to keep the masses out of the cities. That's restructuring. When Fashola pick up people, 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 go to the chat, the bad people, dump them and molest them. Kind of people, dump them in the park and park. Stupid people was all. It's because these people are evil. I said, no. Obi, Obi of Anambra started by taking people of Anambra and dumping them in. So please, don't let these guys be civil. Those, Kabangida, no, they are not. Kabangida, I think we are going to be able to find four of them. Oh, 
we are currently now, whether the Christian assembly pass it well or not. Last year, please, you can see this in your YouTube. You can Google now. They get the budget last year. Fire she went on the half of a second. Read the thing for several minutes. And grabbed the government and landed it. He passed it himself. And he said, hey, excellent. That was how they passed the budget. Oh yes, you can see it on YouTube. So our country has become a huge job. Now they are talking of uh, reform. They are talking of reform. And I'm asking myself, did you overpay London Paris Club that we are talking of reform? But that reform by now, governors of London have a trillion naira. People are still not paying their arrears of salary. So the more we make money, the more poverty we have in our country. So anybody who wants to talk of restructure must talk of restructuring the economy first. We must redistribute the wealth of Nigeria. And I'm happy labor people are here. We have a challenge before us. And I want to thank labor and other progressive forces. They have made it impossible for the Nigerian ruling clan to serve the most profitable asset in Africa today, the LNG. LNG has put to the Federation, all to have to the Federation account in $15 million in the last 10 years. That money cannot be located. And this government that is fighting corruption is not interested in that. I mean, a business. It's actually APT now. APT. <laughs> so if I make a mistake of uh, calling APC, I think it's the same way. Right? Now, on the very serious the manifesto of the APC, in that manifesto, APC promised to restructure Nigeria in order to realize the federalism that, according to them, our forefathers talked about. In Article 25 of that first two, APC said it was going to initiate programs that would lead to the restructuring of Nigeria so that true federalism would be realized. But you know, once you get the power in Nigeria, you want to retain the status quo. Because you don't search what title of the constitution. Describe the Nigerian president as the president, the head of state, commander in chief of the armed forces, and the chief executive officer of the republic. Just like a company. So the president, the governor, and you know, there is no way I can describe the governor as executive governor. But now, every governor is an executive. His excellency executive governor. Now, if you want restructuring, you must smash those purposes. And the last one I beg you, if you want to restructure, and Nigeria is the only country in the world where if you serve as a governor for four years or eight years, Nigeria is the only country. You make the many law. Every state. I think it's only a no. I don't know what happened to Adams that was uh, polite and said he needed only 200 million to build the house. No! His colleagues, you will get a house in the state where you govern. You will also get a house in Abuja where you never govern. You will receive the salary of the governor for life. Even if you retire at 40 minutes or 40, you are not aware. Making allowances in one state, you and your family, as a former governor, is 300 million naira a year. You change your cars, your cars are replaced every two or three years. Four cars. For life, you will have about 10 armed policemen. And of course, you also almost automatically now, you go to the city. And when you get to the Senate, there are 21 of them now, former governors and deputies in the Senate, who 
who are also collecting salary in the Senate. We all know my employees here. If you are pensioned, you cannot collect full salary. You can only be on contract. But the people in the National Assembly are collecting among those sums of money at the end of every month. The point I'm making there for you is that now that these people are talking of instruction, let us join the debate by going for their jugular. By saying, I like the article, we are for restructuring. But please, can we restructure the economy? By taking oil blocks, oil blocks from individuals and giving them the states and make a problem. Because section 16 of the Constitution says, the commanding height of the economy shall not be privatized. The Dango days will no longer get duty waivers 